Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish and today we will start with the part 2 of most important questions from switch capacitor. So here is the part 1. You can go and watch the part 1 like many of you guys liked and many of you guys actually send me the answer to the question also like commented on that video the answer but uh, I think none of you were correct. So today's video we will try to solve this question. This is the question right. You have to find the steady state value of V if your waveform like switch switching waveform is something like this so if the phi is high that means that this switch is on and this switch is off because it is phi bar right it is the opposite and if phi is low that means the switch is off and whenever this switch is off this switch is on and time periods are given as shown and at steady state right if this happens for infinite amount of time what will be the steady state value of v okay so yeah let's uh, basically start so if you haven't already watched my previous video make sure to watch it because i will use that same concept in this video to solve this particular question so first of all during uh, time t by up until t by 4 right so up until t by 4 this switch is on so whenever this switch is on this will be on and this will be open circuit right this will be off so what will happen at that in same instant this one volt will totally come across this c and 2c and charge sharing will happen so how will the charge sharing happen so basically here due to this voltage source a x amount of charge will flow through both of this circuits right so what will happen is I will get a plus x here and as I get a plus x I will get a minus x here so how do I write plus x and minus x all this I have explained in my previous uh, video so plus x and then minus x so this voltage source is charging and due to the uh, charging like a charge uh, a charge of x value is getting uh, added to this c and 2c initially they had no charge right no nothing is given so initially they had no charge so what I can do is I can equate the voltages here right I can equate the voltages here I can write the voltage at this node so basically my vc2 will be equals to x by 2c or it should be equals to minus x by c plus 1 volts right? I will directly write it as 1 volts why because this what is x by c x by c is voltage right and this is also voltage so this voltage source I can write it like this okay so this is plus minus 1 volts so whenever I am seeing from here right the first terminal uh, is my notation so first terminal is positive that's why I will write here plus 1 if it was negative then I, I would have written here minus 1 so this will be plus 1 okay so now we will solve for x by c so I can take this x on that side so this will be x by uh, 2c 3c 3c by uh, 3x by 2c equals to 1 so my x by 2c simply will be equals to 1 by 3 that is my vc2 and what is my vc1 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 of t by 4 is simply equals to 2 by 3 okay if i divide uh, if i multiply 2 on both sides this will be 2 by 3 and uh, my vc2 of t by 4 will be simply equals to 1 by 3 now like what is this vc uh, vc3 this is zero simply there is no change like there is no switching and happening so this is zero but for the next cycle something will change so again this switch will be on and this switch will be off after this t by 4 to t right from t by 4 to t so here what will happen now basically here charge sharing will happen again the same thing okay i will again assume the same thing that some x amount of charge is flowing out of this capacitor because this capacitor doesn't have any charge so i'm assuming that this capacitor is giving some amount of charge so if x amount of charge is flowing right what will happen is basically it will get discharged by x and here plus x will happen and here this will get charged by same amount because this is in series same charge will flow and this will be minus x okay so now i can again equate the voltage v again equate the voltage v v will be x by 3c minus uh, x by 3c equals to minus x by 2c and obviously i have to take take on this voltage as well this has the initial voltage of 1 by 3 how am i writing again explain in the previous video so now I can directly write it as this that it will be uh, this right so this will be uh, if I multiply 2 and 3 5x by 6c will be equals to 1 by 3 so what will be my x by c now uh, x by c now so x by c will be simply x by c will be uh, this will be 2 so 2 by 5 but what do I need to find out I need to find out x by 3c that is my v basically that is my vc3 so my vc3 is x by 3 uh, uh, sorry yeah x by 3c right so it will be 2 by 15 basically so this will be my vc3 okay and the, what are the other voltage other voltages are also same so vc3 at 
t should be equals to vc2 at t right you can equate it will be same as vc2 at t so these values will be same and vc1 is as it is as it was previously there okay now let's uh, go to the next uh, switching period that is from t to 5t by 4 so from 5t by 4, 4 this is off and this is this is closed and this is open right so here i have 2 by 15 voltage and here i have 2 by 3 of voltage initially so things have bit change here so basically what i need to do like same thing will happen that i will use the same method that uh, like this is higher potential this is these are all low potential so obviously charge will flow from this one volt uh, battery so it will give this cap some charge of x plus x and minus x here and then plus x and minus x here okay so now what i can say is basically uh, again i will equate the voltages here right? again i will equate the voltages here that is my vc2 will be equals to x by 2c and also this positive voltage uh, potential is also there right so this will be plus 2 by 15 should be equals to minus x by c here first of all i'm getting a neg negative potential right so this will be minus 2 by 3 and this is positive again as explained in the first case so this will be plus 1 so this will be twice of this so this will be 3x by 2c 3x by 2c should be equals to if i subtract this it will be somewhat okay 5 minus 2 3 by 15 right 3 by 15 so this is 1 by 5 so this 3 3 will get cancelled and x by c will be simply 2 by 15 but i am not interested in that i am interested in x by 2c plus 2 by 15 that will give me vc2 so what is my vc2 of 5t by 4 vc2 of 5t by 4 will be uh, 1 by 15 1 by 15 plus 2 by 15 so it will be uh, basically 3 by 15 that is 1 by 5 1 by 5 now let's come to the next switching period so this vc2 is 1 by 5 and I, i'm not taking care of this i will take care of this uh, after this so here this becomes 4 by 5 so this is if this is 1 by 5 right so this overall potential if i apply cable this should be 1 so that's why this will come out to be 4 by 5 now for the uh this case for this next switching what will happen from 5t by 4 like i will bring this Five T by four to two T, right? Five T by four to two T. So what is happening in this uh, time dom time stage, right? So again, I will apply the same like same concept that this will again some provide some charge because this is again higher potential. This is again lower potential. So obviously this will lose out some charge. This will lose out some charge and this will gain some charge, right? Plus six minus six. Now I will apply the same concept of writing the V potential. So V potential will be what one by five minus x by c uh 2c equals to 2 by 15 plus x by 3c so basically what will be my x by c so if i uh, take this on that side and this 2 by 15 here so this will be uh 3 5 x by 6c should be equals to this 2 by 15 if i cancel this will be 3 1 by 15 okay so what do you what do i want i want x by 3c so i will put this 5 here and i will uh, multiply by 2 on both sides so what will i get is x by 3c will be equals to 2 by 75 so what is my voltage my voltage is actually uh, currently vc uh, vc3 that is v right is equals to i have 2 by 3 as well 2 by 15 as well right 2 by 15 as well so this is 2 by 15 plus 2 by 75 now i will not go uh, for the next uh, stages you will just see a pattern that in the next stage right my vc3 will be something like this vc3 or i can write my v with every period passing by this first will be 2 by 15 then second was 2 by 75 like there will be a common term of uh, this 1 by 5 right so again it will get multiplied so if i take common 2 by 15 right if i take common 2 by 15 uh, something like that will happen so this will be 2 by 75 then plus this will be 2 by five times that okay so it's around i think 1500 17 1825 i think yeah no 1735 75 i think 
1650 yeah 1650 yeah this will do a 875 and it will go on like that right so now you know the common like gp form right which is 1 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by uh 25 like that so like every time it is getting multiplied by 1 by 5 okay so so finally what will be your v your v will be something like this which is 2 by 15 first a by a minus r. that is 1 minus r a is 1 this time uh r is 1 by 5 so this will be 2 by 15 divided by 4 by 5 so this gets cancelled with 3 this gets 2 so overall this comes out to be 1 by 6 volts so your answer will be 0 0.167 volts so this should be the final answer of this question uh, so thank you for watching this video if you did like it uh, don't forget to hit the like button and yeah subscribe to our channel and like you can watch our all our other playlists so these are very very interesting conceptual questions that we take uh, and yeah you can avail our courses uh, on our website that is prefusion.in Thank you and I will see you in the next lecture.